Hi, my name is Leo, and today we'll be talking about the Hershey Chase experiment. In the early 20th century, it was a common belief by many scientists that proteins were the carriers of genetic material. This was based on the notion that proteins were more complex in structure than DNA, and the fact that DNA was housed exclusively in the nucleus. A group of experiments were carried out in 1944 by Avery, McLeod, and McCarty that suggested that DNA was the genetic material carrier, but these results were not fully accepted at the time. In 1952, however, two people by the name of Martha Chase and Alfred Hershey carried out an experiment, and the main goal of this experiment was to determine if proteins or DNA were the main genetic materials. And the way that they did this was by using a bacteriophage. These are a type of virus that specifically infect bacteria, and at the time of the experiment it was commonly known by scientists to be composed of two major parts, the outer protein coat and the DNA within the nucleus. So to set up their experiment, they created two distinct groups. The first one on the left was a bacteriophage that was labeled with a radioactive sulfur 35 on the protein outer coat. This was because sulfur was contained in proteins but not in DNA. Whereas the group 2, shown in green, was labeled with a radioactive phosphorus 32 on its DNA strand, which was why phosphorus was found in DNA but not amino acids. Each group was subsequently then allowed to interact with a host cell and inject its genetic material, after which it would be cleaved off and the host cells would be evaluated for signs of radioactivity. Group 1 showed zero signs of radioactivity within the host, whereas group 2 showed very positive signs of radioactive phosphorus. At the end of the experiment, they were able to show that only 20% of the phosphorus remained outside of the host cell, whereas 100% of the sulfur remained outside of the host cell. From this data, they were able to conclude that DNA was in fact the factor that was being released into host cells to produce offspring, not proteins. And this experiment, along with many others, went on to help prove that DNA was the genetic material after all.